Hey, I'm Matthew Underwood. I play Logan Reese on Zoe 101, and you're watching Ed Magic TV. It's simple to see it's Ed Magic TV, so the world can believe it's Ed Magic TV. It's simple to see it's Ed Magic TV, so the world can believe it's Ed Magic TV. We're here with Matthew Underwood from Zoe One on One. Did anything happen with you and Britney Spears' little sister? Any hookups? Any flirting? Anything that we just want to know so much about? Um, well, it was it was hard not to because we worked together, but I have to say there was no hookups or anything. It was almost a kiss that I almost, I almost got to kiss her for a scene, but she was 13 and I was like 14 at the time, and we were a little bit. She was like, "No, this is too gross. We're not going to do this." So they actually wrote it out. She said, "Gross." Ah. That's not good. I understand that you got a nice new haircut. How do you like it? Um, I think it's definitely more appealing to the ladies. I look older. I don't look like I'm 12. Exactly. Um, and uh, it also complements the new facial hair that I just acquired. Okay. How old are you? I'm 19, and they just popped out of nowhere for no reason. I was like, oh, this is this is cool. I just did a Western film where I was playing a 16-year-old, but I was able to grow facial hair for the Western film, so they got me able to be a little bit older for the film. I heard that you're in a new movie, and if you want to explain some of that to me and us here at Ed Magic TV. Um, what is your movie about and why did you love doing it? Um, well, my movie's a Western film. It's very much like, like a dirty, hairy... Like and the 16-year-old. Right, and I'm, I play a 16-year-old Tennyson Hops, and the movie's called Tennyson Hops. And it's, it's, very, it's very true to its time period of the Western films. And what happens is banditos come, kill my family, and kidnap my brother. And I have to go all the way across the United States on just my horse alone to go find him. I really enjoyed doing the film because it was my first time that I was able to do an adult film where I was like killing people, which was really cool because like there was a lot of action and I wasn't able to do Any stunts? Yeah, actually. We used a lot of horses and I'm not really good with horses and we did a lot of horse tricks and shooting and like hanging off the side and dragging the, and it was it was, it was was very painful. I love it. That's great. I hear that you're with a lot of charities. Or there's one that you love and you're coming up with soon. As Miss Beverly Hills, I love to hear about charities. I love to promote charities. So if you could give us a quick quick you know synopsis of your involvement and how we can get involved as well and me as Miss Beverly Hills well I'm just starting it now it's called educating the next generation okay and what we do is we provide a safe drug-free environment after school for free it's patrolled by the LAPD so it's really safe for the kids we we educate the kids with tutors for free and any any source that they need to be tutored in and they don't have to sign up for the tutoring they just walk up and there's a classroom or a part in the park designated to that course. They get free tutoring and then they can do extracurricular activities in the art programs. That's all counted as credits for their high school. Wow, that's so great. That's so great. What cities are you mainly setting this up in? LA? We're, yeah, we're starting in LA. We're starting in the Chatsworth area and then I'm going to try to move it to Burbank and see if I can get some action going on there. And then I want to have like a very large well-known weekly thing at I mean every single day of the week for the for the entire school year at Griffith Park I'm hoping to reserve a part of Griffith Park a large portion of it for extracurricular activities and tutoring kids 